This is the NJSJ USB microphone for PC. It is an RGB gaming mic, also used for PS4, PS5, and Mac. It is a condenser microphone with a touch mute, gain knob, and a monitoring jack for recording, streaming, podcasting, YouTube, Switch, Twitch, etc. It comes with the stand to plug it in, as well as a pseudo pop filter. It also has an adapter, so you can go from USB-A to USB-C, as most PCs nowadays use full USB-C and you won't really have an issue if you want to go with something a little bit older. It costs $33.99 on Amazon, but it does have a 6% off coupon that you can apply at checkout, bring it down just a little bit, although at the time of recording this, I don't know if that is still the case. I've been talking the entire time with the microphone in hand. This is what it sounds like. It does have a gain uh, knob on the bottom, so if I start to turn this, then it'll get a little bit quieter. Then I can start turning it back up again. I'm just gonna make sure I don't blow out my monitor on the bottom there and you can get it to a pretty nice level it also has a headphone jack in the front here so you can plug in your headphones so you can monitor exactly what it sounds like and make sure your levels are appropriate as you can see it does have some pretty cool lighting effects that you can kind of swap through as well as a touch sensitive uh, mic mute button so if i touch on the top the light And then you can't hear anything that I am saying, uh, which is nice to have. Um, honestly, I was kind of hoping that it would be a physical button, so you kind of have that tensile click to it. But as I've used it over the past week, I've actually grown pretty accustomed to the touch. Uh, so you're not putting too much added pressure on the top. It does have a little bit of stability uh, enhancers on the mic itself. So there are some rubber bands in the middle that keep the mic in place and uh, eliminates vibrations. So if there's any kind of vibrations around, it will not pick those up. You kind of see them there, the little rubber parts uh, are basically what will allow you to um, make sure that any vibrations will be out of the way and you won't have to go and post and re-edit anything uh, just because of a, a simple vibration a garage opening up or motor someone vacuuming stuff like that even just a busy street sometimes can have vibration effects on a microphone depending on how close you are so it's nice to have a little bit of that stabilization to eliminate those vibrations honestly for 35 dollars, i think it sounds pretty fantastic i don't really think this pop filter does much so i'm gonna do some words to kind of try that out so Peter Piper to picker peckle picker Peter Piper Peter Piper picked a pick peckle pickle peppers. I don't know. Uh, I'm really bad at those, but let's take it off. Just kind of snaps off like that. Like that. And then Peter Piper picked a pack of pickle peppers. How many pickle peckers Peter Piper picked? There you go. I did the first time. Uh, not really the first time. Close time. Um, so typically pop filters will have a uh, film of fabric, some kind of fabric. This is just pure metal, so I'm not really sure how uh, well it works. You will hear in the review. Uh, I, I'm not editing this yet, so I don't really know. I haven't done the test until now, so you're gonna find out as soon as I find out. And I'm gonna just slap this on real quick, just put it back on. And just like that, it is back on the mic. So I would say for $35, if you're looking for a microphone uh, just for talking and gaming or podcasting even, um, I'd say it's high quality enough to do that. I would say for podcasting, you will have to switch up the EQ just a little bit in post to kind of boost several levels and depending on what kind of clarity you want with your voice. But straight out of the box, I haven't touched any of the settings on this. I literally just plugged it in and started talking. I think it sounds pretty fantastic. I am pretty shocked that a $35 microphone sounds this good, plus with the added benefit of looking pretty cool as well. Look at that. I love the uh, little lighting effects. It's pretty great. So if you do want to buy one, I'll put a link in the description down below. I think it's great. I'm going to use this. Probably going to buy an arm to have it near my mouth on my desk because the stand is incredibly small. Uh, that's really the only thing I would say is a negative is that the stand is tiny and it's hard to adequately get it up to your mouth without like stacking it on a bunch of stuff. So if you really want to use one of these, uh, I would say get a uh, separate arm that'll hold it up for you in the right level. I can't really imagine that having this on a table would be that good just because it's so incredibly short. And it also does have uh, audio capabilities on the other side. So even when I turn it, you can kind of hear any kind of differences between that, but you can essentially put this between two people and be completely fine uh, talking about podcasting, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.